Okay, I posted recently how I was going to turn a $29 um, oil catch can into a $129 oil catch can. This is an unboxing of the catch can I purchased on Amazon. Some hose, I don't think it's enough hose. Uh, some element material they give you, which I'm not sure I trust. And here's the catch can itself. Um, See if I can do this one-handed. Yeah, I can. Oil cash cans are pretty simple. Very simple process. Okay, here it is. Basically, um, what you have is a can, and your inlet is comes from the uh, uh, PCV, um, basically drawn in from the outlet, which is the vacuum on the uh, carburetor. And it's a pretty cool little catch can. It's even got a, a small dipstick so that you can check it without having to open the uh, catch can and see, hey, how high up is the oil getting in there? And I'll probably have to set the camera down to open up the catch can and show you what's inside. So let's... Okay, let's... so this is what the inside of the catch can looks like. And you can see um, the inlet side from there has a little uh, screening and then there's the inside of the can and it looks like they didn't finish painting it um, okay so what's the key to this the key to this is you want the oil to stay in the can and just have the vapors come through um, and and you know give you your prop excuse me give you your positive crankcase ventilation, but you don't want all that gunk coming into your carburetor and manifold and to be reburnt. And they give you the fittings and such, uh, to, you know, for the things. They give you a spare um, gasket here uh, and different things. So I said I was going to turn this into a uh, higher-end catch can. What's the difference between this and, like, for example, the 120 some odd dollar Mishimoto I have on my 08 Mustang? Well, the difference is, is this filter. Right now, I unscrew this. Got to find threads. Okay, you'll see there's nothing in there. So basically, um, you know, the oil will stay in the can, but but you want to kind of filter it some way so that nothing really gets through. Now that's where this metal gunky comes in that they they give you to. To squeeze in there and supposedly that would stop it but I'm not a hundred percent you know convinced that pieces of this wouldn't get through and get into the engine so what I've purchased here is a sheet of very fine screening material which I can put in that uh, baffled area to at the top and the bottom so that nothing is going to go through and um, I don't have to worry, but yet the air will still flow through as it's supposed to. So let's put this together and see what it, what, what it comes out like. So what I've done here is, is cut two pieces of screen round to fit inside that baffle area. And as I said, it'll breathe, but it won't allow um, uh, any particles to get through or whatever. Now I may use some of this in there for catching the material. I'm not certainly not going to stuff this whole thing in there. Or I may even just use some steel wool, um, which is actually probably what I'm going to do. So let's get that done, and then uh, we'll come back. Okay, so here it is uh, put together. Uh, I've put just a piece of that material in between here, kind of squished it in. Uh, nothing can come out because of that screen that I used uh, with this focus. And I've blown through it and it just very easily uh, just, you know, your breath goes right through it. So that tells me that the vacuum will draw through that, okay. So now I will replace this um, back in the catch can. Let's try and do this with one hand. Let's do it to, to the proper hand. And as you can see, that would be very easy to clean and, and change. Um, now all we have to do, and I'm, I'm going to put a little lube on uh, on these threads. Oh, it looks like they had a little bit. Um, but I'm going to lube these threads. 
and put it back together. Okay, to finish this up, um, I have temporarily set it in here where it is firmly in place between the uh, coil bracket and the power steering pump there in the bracket. Um, this may not be, and by the way, you can see it going to the PCV, no kink in it or anything, and it goes to the carburetor. Um, it's just a temporary spot. I, you know, can always make the hoses longer and reset it somewhere. It just seemed like the most convenient place. I didn't necessarily want to mount it on the shock tower there. Uh, not 100% sure. It may just stay here. Um, I'll just see. But there's your $29 becoming a $129 uh, oil catch can.